What's up guys, Adam here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about a subject matter that has come up on a previous video of mine, asking how to wire up multiple outlets in a uh, double gang box. And when you've only got that one power source coming in, how do you wire up those two outlets in that one box? I'm gonna show you how to wire it up. So let's go ahead and jump right in, let's go. So before I get started, the first thing I need to do is I need to shut off the circuit breaker that's supplying the power to the wires for the outlet that I'm going to be wiring up. Then after I've shut off that circuit breaker, I need to use a multimeter to make sure that the power is in fact off. All right, so now we've got our three wires here. We've got our bare copper wire, which is the ground, white wire, which is the neutral, and of course the black wire, which is the line or the hot wire. So since we're going to have two receptacles here, we're going to need to make up some pigtails. So since there's two, we're going to need pigtails for each receptacle. That means that you're going to need to cut one of each wire for both receptacles. So you're going to need two ground pigtails, you're going to need two neutral or white pigtails, and you're going to need two black pigtails. So once you've got your pigtails made up, we're going to start with the ground wires. We're going to take those two pigtails and we're going to take the ground wire that's coming out of the wall. We're going to put them next to each other like so. Then you're going to want to get them started twisting. Then once you've got them started twisting, then you're just going to take a wire nut and put it in on top and twist it down. Once you've got this all twisted on, then you can take your wire nut with your ground wires and put that towards the back of the box, leaving your two ground pigtails out here at the bottom. So then that brings us to our white neutral wire. And we're going to do the same thing as we just did with the ground wire. We're going to take all of our neutral wires, put them all together, and then start getting them spun together. And once you've got those started together, then just put a wire nut on those as well. Once we've got all of our white neutral wires together, then you can also put that wire nut and the excess wire in the back of the box. So now all that I've got left is my black hot wire here. And I'm going to do the same thing that I've done with the neutral wires and the ground wires. I'm going to put them all together and then get them started twisting together. And then once those have started twisting together, again, put a wire nut on top. And now that can go also in the back of the box with the other wires. Now something to note, this outlet box just so happens to be at the end of the run for the outlets. So there's not going to be any power that's going on to another box. If there was, there would have been an additional wire, the wire that's going on to the next outlets, that we would have also had to have put each color underneath each of the wiring nuts. So instead of there being three underneath of each, there would have been four. All right, so now I'm ready to wire up my outlets. And as you saw, I've got pigtails for each outlet. So these are going to be on their own. They're not gonna, you might see people that are taking their two outlets and they'll run a jumper going from one of the outlets to the other where they'll have a hot wire then connecting to the hot on this side and then they'll have their neutral and again also with the ground so for instance this one would be hooked up to the wires coming out of the wall and this one would just be attached with some jumper wires to this one the reason that i don't do it that way you can do it that way but the reason i don't do it that way is if for instance this first outlet was to go bad then this outlet would possibly not work anymore. And if you did have outlets on down the line, those as well would not work. So this is just kind of singling them out so that they're on their own wires or their own power feeds. So something to note about the outlets is nowadays you're gonna be, need to be looking for these tamper resistant outlets. It, you'll know that they're tamper resistant. It'll say TR on them. 
I mean, I'll say tamper resistant on the box they come in as well. But if you don't already know, they have these little plastic pieces inside. I think you can see those that if, for instance, a child was to stick something in one or the other one, they wouldn't be able to go all the way through and electrocute themselves. That's kind of the whole point of them. It requires both to be depressed at the same time. So you're probably going to need to be getting one of these tamper resistant outlets when you go looking for outlets. Now, one of the first things I like to do before I start actually installing my outlets is I like to do all of my half circles for the terminal screws. All right, so I'm all set up now. I've got my set to wire separate. I've got one hot, one neutral, and one ground over here, and then one of each over on the other side, just separating for the outlet. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to install my first ground wire on this outlet, which of course is this green ground screw down here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take that ground wire with that loop, I'm gonna put it around that ground screw in a clockwise direction. So you want it going around in a clockwise direction so that when you're tightening it down, it's just helping it to bring it in closer. It just makes a much better connection. And so now I'm ready to hook up my white neutral wire. Now, an outlet has two sides, of course, with two different colored terminal. On this right side, this is gonna be the hot side. These are brass colored screws. And the neutral is going to go over here on these more silver colored screws. So I'm just going to take that white neutral wire and much like I did with the ground wire, I'm going to loop it around in a clockwise direction and then tighten it down. All right, so now the last wire that I've got left is the black wire for this outlet. And this is going to go over here on the right side on these brass terminals. So then just tighten this down nice and tight as well. Give all of them a little tug just to make sure that they're not going to come off. Now you'll see these two screws that are still just sticking out. Definitely make sure that you just tighten those down so they aren't sticking out like they are. And the wiring for the second outlet is going to be exactly like the first one, so there's no tricks there. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to installing a couple of outlets in one box with one power source. Pretty easy stuff. I hope that maybe you learned something new and it was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section and also giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave those down in the comments as well and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. And if you like how-tos and do-it-yourself type videos for around your house, then consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.